If you have not seen them, I became a victim. What's up everybody? As you can see here, uh, we are gonna have a discussion around security in your vehicle. Uh, big reason being is, one, I'll be honest, I was already kind of planning on filming this to talk about this so everybody can understand why we always talk about take your security to another level in your vehicle, okay? And, I wasn't really planning on doing this right when I got back like what I'm doing, but I pushed this to the head of the line because if you haven't seen my Instagram and my Facebook stuff, which if you haven't, you need to get over there and help me out, please, and continue to support and give those a follow as well too. But if you have not seen them, I became a victim. Yes, I was a victim. Okay, unfortunately, all the training that I have uh, doesn't really help in this situation because uh, my vehicle was broken into overnight while staying at the hotel. Um, there's been a few other people that have posted their experience with it too. So don't sit there and say, oh, this is a nice hotel. It can't happen here because it can. It was a nice hotel. All right, it was a well-lit parking lot, but these criminals, now you know what, I don't even wanna say criminals, because at this point, between the ride back with the freaking plastic bag over the window flapping at the wind at 80 miles an hour being annoying as shit, and then just, and I'm not saying anything about my insurance company, but just having to deal with the insurance company, the, the, these pieces of shit knew what they were doing, all right? No, my car alarm did not go off. I have a factory car alarm, and I didn't realize this until talking with the law enforcement that came on scene that most factory car alarms don't go off until points of contact are broken, meaning doors open, tailgate open, things like that. So, car alarm didn't go off. They tried to pop the front passenger window and then they were able to pop the back passenger window and get inside. What I mean by pop is they actually used window breakers like what most people would use to get out of being trapped in a vehicle. So this is what they used to get in here. And like I said, uh, they knew what they were doing. They got in, they were able to move around freely within my, my vehicle here where they really couldn't be seen. So yes, there were cameras. Uh, my understanding, I don't think that the camera <laughs> resolution was very good. So they're probably not gonna really get too much from it. But yeah, it was it was a well-lit parking lot. And I'll be honest, I was parked right under the street lights, right near my room. So if something happened, I would hear the alarm. Uh, now knowing what I know, besides having this safe in my vehicle, I'm going to be changing uh, and upgrading to an aftermarket alarm system to catch window breaks. Uh, but while all this was going on, there were nine, no, I'm sorry. Yes, nine other vehicles uh, that were broken into. There were, unfortunately, firearms that were taken out of some of these vehicles and why I've been wanting to do this. But like I said, this is a big reason on why I push this to the front of the line to get this filmed and get this up for everybody. But this thing right here saved my ass, all right? And what I mean by saved my ass is there was a AR rifle in this safe along with five to six full mags for that rifle. I kept it in here. It was my backup because um, I was training while I was away. And that was my backup in case something happened. I had it in this safe and thank God for Tuffy products. So if you're looking for a good safe, 
I'm going to go ahead and highly recommend uh, Tuffy Products to you. Uh, Tuffyproducts.com is the website. I'll put it up in the screen uh, for you to go and check them out. And no, this is anything where they're paying me to advertise anything. I'm doing this because I was a victim and this baby right here was able to save me. Okay. This is a under the seat safe for the 2015 to 2020 F-150. Uh, the great thing about this, I'll let the seat down here before we get into the safe. As you can see, I'm losing no leg room by having this safe. As you can see here, I'm still able, let me lift her back up here. I'm still able to keep my little storage compartment that's up under here. I was a little nervous about that. So I was able to keep the storage compartment and still use it. And again, not lose any leg room. Now, if you don't have this vehicle, they make other safes. They make safes for your console because due to exactly what's happened and why we're having this video, I'm going to be investing in a safe for my console. They did go through my console. Um, and they know what they were looking for. I kind of feel what, where, what we were there for. Um, we were targeted either by somebody casing the place. And I mean, if you see eight, nine, ten people lugging in different rifle cases and all kind of stuff, you're going to kind of have to put two and two together. Or, you know, it could have been somebody at the hotel because uh, I've heard that there were some hotels, some hotel rooms that were. Um, opened up and I, there were even some opened up while the people were still in the room. So who knows? I, I seriously doubt they're really going to find anything. Um, they didn't even send, even when they found out firearms had been stolen, they didn't even, well, I shouldn't say they didn't send, the, the, I guess the detectives chose not to come out. Um, highly shocking with that many handguns missing. And again, I'm not saying anything bad about anybody that had a handgun stolen i just want people to understand why you always hear me talk about take your security to another level so things like that don't happen because unfortunately that's criminals out there with you know some firearms so <laughs> the bad thing is is in the back of the truck there was ammo there were belts chest rigs plate carriers um, yeah, shit, there was probably four to five thousand dollars worth of gear and ammo back there. Um, but like I said, the firearm that was in here uh, was not uh stolen for this exact reason, and why I have this because I keep firearms in my vehicle. Sometimes we go places where we can't take a firearm, all right? So I put it in here all the more reason now i'm not gonna sit here and say that every single time i put it in here no there were a couple times i put it in my console and i locked my console but i mean that's very easy to get into if you know what you're doing now with this safe um i'm gonna lift this side it is um it is a 60 40 split just like the seat this when i bought it it actually came with key lock so i've got a key lock on this side and on the bigger side here i've switched over to combination locks but when i bought it it came all key locks i wanted combination in case i lose my keys can't find my keys uh, heat of the moment adrenaline's going i'm not trying to fumble with keys and i have the combination over here which gets me to pretty much everything that i've got in here all right i, I don't have the combination lock set to something that is not or that is related to firearms like two two three five five six seven six two anything like that all right i don't have it set that way so that way if they get in here they're not trying to well you know like if i'm a criminal i hop in i know they're here for firearm stuff then i'm not going you know, well, well, let's try 223 or 556 or 762 or many other calibers that are three digits. I don't have it set to anything related to firearms. 
I don't have it set to any kind of dates or anything special like that. It's a specific number I'm able to remember. I have these set certain ways so I know how many times I need to click it left or right to get to the combination in case it's dark my flashlight goes out, don't have my flashlight, whatever, and be able to get into it quickly. And I say all that because they did try, I could tell they tried some combinations as well too. So it left, let's lift this side up. So as you can see over here, the lock is back behind this lip. That's a huge thing here because that's what saved them from popping this lock. Cause there's marks right here where you can tell they use something, I don't know, maybe a flathead screwdriver, and it looks like they were sliding in whatever they were using and turning it, trying to pop that open, but it locks in right here, comes in and hooks into this. So they're not just gonna pop this thing open. So again, huge shout out to Tuffy Products. Your safe saved my ass. I did not arm criminals because of this safe if you're looking for quality products you've got it right here like i said i'm going to be going and looking about one of their safes for my console uh, the only thing that was stolen because i figure it was like, okay shit i don't have i can't find any firearms i can't get into the safe let me grab whatever i can so they did grab two medical kits from me i won a large medical kit uh, that was uh, fairly expensive with everything that was in it. You know, they might get some money selling tourniquets and quick clots. I mean, I don't know if they're, if uh, drug dealers are trading drugs for medical kits, but, or whatever. But that is what they got out of the vehicle. They, they left the action camera I've got mounted up on my dash. They left my range finder that I've got in my console. You know, that range finder is a couple hundred bucks, not a few hundred bucks. A nice Essie knife I had in the door, they left it. So, I mean, stuff they really could have got quick money for, <laughs> they freaking left. So that right there shows they were after firearms. But th again, this is why I have this, all right? So same thing on this side, we lift it up. No, I'm not gonna have what I normally put in here. I don't think anybody really needs to know exactly what all I do put in here when I'm out on a daily basis. And yes, that's a daily basis. I keep stuff in here besides what I have on my person. So there is stuff in here to be able to defend myself outside of my everyday carry gun. And no, I don't feel that needed to be put in this video, okay? So I've got plenty of room in here to, I've, I went and tried to see what all I could put in here. I got two ARs, two handguns, and I would say six to seven mags for the rifle and six to eight mags uh, for the handguns. So this, this holds a lot of stuff. Uh, I do have some foam in here, just so it's not sliding around on metal. I haven't done anything where it's uh, particularly cut for a certain gun, just so I've got a little bit of freedom with it. That might be something that comes down the road. Now, if you can't afford the whole thing, uh, or you don't want one that all the way runs across, they have one that just would come on this side. It would just be your 60 side. You know, so if, if you can't do the 60-40 split, they do have one that'll just cover the 60 side here. They have them that go underneath the seat, okay? This is bolted in. Yeah, I can, I can lift it up. Well, I got something stuck under here. Get that stuff out of the way. So I can lift this up. But that's it. And I mean, it's empty right now. When I've got stuff in here, this thing ain't that easy. I mean, it's not, it's not going anywhere. It's bolted down for that exact reason to make it hard for them to get this thing out of here. Now, if they happen to get it out of here, more power to them they deserve it because it ain't gonna be easy. And by that time, this is not something, I, I mean, 
maybe two or three people with what I have in here could slide it through the window if they got it off, but they were looking at smash and grab. It's basically where they were at and they weren't gonna have time to pop this thing. So what I'm getting at here, please make sure it bolts down. Uh, Cause actually one of the firearms that was taken was in a safe, but it was in a safe that was cabled to the vehicle. They had all the proper tools, cut the cable, took the safe with them, because it was designed just for a handgun. So I'm not saying you gotta have something big and huge like this right here. It all depends on what you're keeping in your vehicle. If you mainly want something for a handgun, a safe that mounts into the console. All right, there's ones that mount and cover the whole top of the console. So you open the console and you gotta get through a safe. There's some out there that would only eat up half of the console, and then you still have the other half to store stuff in. A lot of options, people. Take your security to another level. The ones that go up under the seat, they make them where they mount in. A lot of them come with mounting kits. This one came with a mounting kit. I didn't really have to do anything special, drill like any extra holes to bolt this thing down. Now, could I do that to where you can't lift the front of it up? Yeah, I'm sure there's more that I could do, but you saw what I just did, shaking it around and stuff. It's not gonna be easy, especially when I have it loaded down. But please, people, I'm not gonna sit here and beat a dead horse. Be responsible. Take your security in your vehicle to another level. Even if it's the deck system that goes in the back of the truck. I know some people that use that, put their firearms in it. Like I said, that probably would have been more beneficial for me to keep my med kits and all that stuff in because they didn't even pop the back cover. If they'd have popped the back cover, they were getting away with a lot of gear and a lot of ammo. But fortunately, this safe saved my ass. This was absolutely the exact reason on why I bought this thing and I put it in here. And I mean, it wasn't long after I bought it that I put this in here. The old taco that I used to have, they had, I didn't have, I didn't go and spend a lot of money on what they would say a truck safe. I went and spent the money on an under the bed safe. The dimensions fit perfectly in the back of my Tahoe, okay? Now, I'll be honest, I didn't have that one bolted down like I needed to, but empty? That safe empty was 150 pounds. And then everything that I had in that, I'll go ahead and tell you what I had in that, okay? Because I'm not really using it anymore. I had a shotgun, extra ammo for the shotgun. Well, the shotgun with a side saddle, extra ammo. I had my rifle, uh, six to seven mags in there for my rifle. I had two handguns and I had, uh, I think, eight mags total for it. And I even had foam in there and everything cut out. Now, there were other times before I put the foam in there, I had my chest rig, I had knives, hatchets, so the drawer held around 100 pounds. So, I mean, that thing was 250 pounds. So, a lot of work to get that thing out of there because I, it took me and another person to just get the safe in the back of my truck. I'm not a weak person, but trying to fool with 150 pounds like that it was a huge pain in the ass. So it took two people to get it in here, but or in there. So, but like I said, I, I never, I never bolted that one down just because of the weight of that thing. So, but same thing. I mean, if they'd have got it, they deserve it. Yes, I should have bolted it down. They actually, really, honestly, they didn't have a mounting kit for that when I bought it. I think the company was just kind of starting out. There's a company called Monster Vault. If you're curious, it's a company called Monster Vault. Uh, at the time, they didn't have a mounting kit for it. But now I've got recently gone back in and looked at their website. They've got a lot of stuff for it outside of actually being used under the bed. They have a vehicle mounting kit for that particular one. If you can't, if you don't have the room for something that big, they've got other options. Tuffy has other options, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now, Tuffy is, has got my business. So when I find, when I get that 
console safes. I'm pretty sure I saw it on Tuffy. I'm gonna go through them to get that and get that console safe in here. So I've got other stuff that is valuable inside of my console outside of firearms. But like I said, now if I do drop it in there, I can, can secure it a lot better than just locking up my the lid of my console. Now there's an actual safe in there. So please folks, take my advice. You know, I'll be honest, I pulled up, I was like, hey, this is a nice little hotel, well lit parking lot, we're going to be all right. And as y'all saw at the beginning of the video when I had those pictures going through while I was talking, doesn't matter. Does not matter. That also applies to violent crimes as well, too. It can happen anywhere. So don't be the one of, oh, I'm just going here. I don't need to carry my gun because that's when it's going to happen. Because I'll be honest, I pulled up and I was like, I'm just going here. I'm going to be fine. Nope. I was not. So, yes, I'm going to be, I'm going to be upping my security even more. Aftermarket alarm, safe in the console. Uh, the other vehicles that we have that we use on a daily basis, they're going to be getting upped as well, too. So I'm, I'm going to be out looking for more options. But please, folks, take my advice. Be responsible. Take your security in your vehicle to another level if you're somewhere where you can't take your firearm or you're just bringing some extra firearms with you, depending on what you're doing. I hope everybody has enjoyed the video. I hope everybody uh, takes a huge lesson from this. I know I have. And like I said, take your security to another level. All right. And the last thing I want to talk about is please, folks, if you're new to the channel or if you're watching this video, I've got other great videos out there. I've got other great videos coming. I've got interviews from the training that I was at. They are going to be coming up with some absolutely phenomenal people, some absolute phenomenal companies. Please subscribe. Click that bell icon. But at most, please subscribe. If you already subscribed, please continue to share, like, comment. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. All right. And another thing is I'll have some playlist videos up coming up on the screen as well too uh, talking about other gear and stuff as well as some other great videos for you to check out and as I always say folks if you're not shooting you're reloading if you're not reloading you're fighting if you're not fighting you're dead train to live see you on the range test test Helps when you plug it into the right damn hole. Oh, just the way this is going. That might actually be a little bit better than the other one. Maybe it was meant to screw up on the post. Oh, we, oh, whoa, whoa. Oompa, 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 dee doo.